Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to stack a planet photo. I'm going to stack uh, Sun Jupiter today using uh, PIP software to center the, for center the photos first. I took these photos with my SI camera and this is the raw photo here. I took lots of them, like one, over 1000 I think. First thing to do is put them all in the PIP software by selecting them all. Then press the planetary option from the bottom ticket. Then in the quality options press enable quality estimation and leave it at 25%. And in the output options, uh, if it is a video you put in PIP, choose AVI, but if, it is, if there are pictures, choose uh, TIFF. In this case I chose TIFF because these are pictures that I put because uh, on sharp cap I uh, chose uh, to take pictures instead of a video to take less space and now we leave the the software to do its thing and uh, it will take some time to process this then uh, we open auto stacker another another software to stack the the final images from bip i opened it here auto stacker 3 is the name of the software you can see jupiter in the raw form is already very good but stacking will reveal so much more details and will uh, get rid of the atmospheric turbulence which is the main reason we are doing this Okay, these are the finished files from PIP. Now we put them in auto stacker, select them all, control A to select them all and put them here. Press analyze. Make sure the planet option is ticked in the image stabilization part. Stabilization. Okay, it's finished. Now uh, press place AB grid. It will put a lot of boxes and uh, choose in the green box. Press 20 or 30 something like that or 50 depends it's, it depends on, on the quality of the images that you have normally i stay in the 30 range and press stack and now the software is choosing the best frames and stacking them okay it's finished now we go to the final that uh, the software has made the final images and as you can see, it's not very good. The software made, uh, there's a line visible, so we will stack again. Sometimes this happens. As you can see, there's a line. And I stack them again. So uh, the, I, I, to, to fix that problem, instead of press place AP grid, choose the boxes yourself over the, over the planet, and that will, that will fix the issue. Let's place like 10 boxes on the planet. That normally fixes the issue. I don't know what causes it, causes it exactly that problem, but sometimes it happens. Now go to Registax 6 and put the final images from Auto Stacker and put it there. And now we are going to sharpen the planet. I'm rotating it here by the option flip and rotate. I usually like to leave it like tilted a bit, Jupiter. Now we adjust the wavelets. And uh, here you are sharpening when you slide the sliders. You don't want to go too far because it will look horrible. But you want to sharpen it a bit. I usually test by adjusting the sliders bit by bit. The histogram I'm going to darken it a bit. I choose from the bottom and press stretch and then on the histogram the white level the medium level sorry I will drag it a bit to the right to darken the planet okay now uh, the image will be a bit noisy so I, I RGB balanced as well so in this in the wavelet section you have to adjust the the noise as like I'm doing here 
in every slider I usually put like 0 0.10 depends on the quality of data you have the how, how beautiful the image is sometimes when it's like Jupiter is low on the horizon it will not be very good so I'm pressing the denoise very sharpen a bit don't go too crazy because like I said it will look horrible if you sharpen it too much you will want to leave it like natural looking and I usually play with the sliders slide it to the right slide it to the left and see what it looks like the best like natural look the first slider has the most noise so don't go crazy with that the sixth slider usually I slide it the, the most because it doesn't have a lot of noise now I'm going to RGB align press the stretch the box over the whole planet and press estimate and this is aligning the colors of the planet sometimes it has chromatic aberration around the planet when you take from a, an eyepiece or a refractor and this will take care of it and will remove it remove the blue and purple haze around the planet okay it's done its job I will adjust the histogram again this will you have to adjust to your taste if you like a brighter planet stretch like this to the left but I like it a bit darker depends on your taste you can adjust the contrast as, as well it will uh, make the image a bit brighter I'm uh, experimenting with the first slider here you can stretch it a lot but it will get a lot of noise when you stretch it a lot the first one and this looks very beautiful like this this was from a 5 inch telescope and ASI 178MC camera with 2 times Barlow lens <laughs> ok just a bit the contrast up it up it a bit and basically that's it that's the finished photo I hope you enjoyed the guide this guide and you will be able to edit your images and I will see you in the next video clear skies